بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ایکسلینسی مسٹر ٹینگ گاولی ڈسٹنگش ورلڈ لیڈرز لیڈرز ان جنٹلمن اٹ گیوز می گریٹ پلیشر ٹو کانگریجولیٹ چائنا فار ہوسٹنگ دس اسپیکٹیکلر بیلٹ اینڈ روڈ فورم فار انٹرنیشنل کوپریشن اینڈ فار چوزنگ اے ویری ایپ تھیم فار دس سمٹ cooperation for common prosperity. This is a historic event. <clears throat> It will build critical pathways in the years to come for economic and financial cooperation, business to business collaboration, and people to people contacts. I am here today to celebrate the remarkable success of the seminal initiative of the One Belt, One Road shoulder to shoulder with our close friend and trusted ally, China, and the other world leaders present here. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I pay to President Xi and the Chinese leadership <clears throat> my deepest tributes for their dynamic and creative leadership. We admire and commend China's vision and ingenuity in developing corridors across regions in building supportive financial institutions such as the Silk Road Fund and the Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, and above all, in launching China Railway Express trains that construct a new bridge on the Eurasian landmass. Ladies and gentlemen, One Belt, One Road is an inter intercontinental mega project that integrates infrastructure, energy, trade, telecommunications, investment, and industrial development. Such a broad sweep and scale of interlocking economic partnerships and investments is unprecedented in history. We stand at the cusp of a geoeconomic revolution. In fact, this is the dawn of a truly new era of synergetic intercontinental cooperation. OBOR embraces three continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe. It covers half the half of the world's population, half of its resources, and 65 countries. International investors from all over are pouring their resources into it. It makes win-win partnerships possible for all. It will accelerate economic growth in developing countries, yield dividends for international investors, and tear down barriers to trade and commerce. <clears throat> Even more importantly, it will help prepare and reform global economic governance. We do not see Obor merely as a modern revival of the ancient Silk Road. Rather, we view it as a conscious and humanistic endeavor to take humankind to a higher level of prosperity, <clears throat> peace and stability through connectivity and close contact. Ladies and gentlemen, peace and development go hand in hand and nothing can pave the path for peace and security more than economic development achieved through regional collaboration. OBOR signifies that geoeconomics must take precedence over geopolitics and that the center of gravity should shift from conflict to cooperation. <clears throat> As Obor unfolds across continents, we see it fostering inclusion, creating tolerance, and promoting acceptance of cultural diversity. We see it as a powerful tool for overcoming terrorism and extremism. Pakistan believes that the most powerful impact of Obor will be on the lives of poor and marginalized people who would have higher incomes, better education, and more health facilities. It would help in eradicating poverty and achieving sustainable development, leaving no one behind. Ladies and gentlemen, the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is a core project of Obor. In fact, it has been rightly called its flagship 
because it aims to connect the neighborhoods of East and West Asia. CPEC makes Pakistan both a conduit and destination <coughs> for cross-regional investment and trade. <coughs> Let me make it very clear <coughs> that China-Pakistan Economic Corridor is an economic undertaking open to all countries in the region. It has no geographical boundaries. In implementing this corridor, we are not striving to merely leverage geography for economic prosperity. We are also trying to build a peaceful, connected and caring neighborhood. It is time we transcend our differences, resolve conflicts through dialogue and diplomacy, and leave a legacy of peace for future generations. It is with this sense of pride, ladies and gentlemen, that I avail this opportunity to inform this forum that our infrastructure, energy, and industrial projects are moving just as envisaged. Many will be completed by or even before their timelines. Unprecedented economic, social, and cultural benefits will accrue from the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, not just for the people of Pakistan, but also for the people of the entire region. Through a resolute will and sound planning, as well as the steadfast support of our Chinese friends, we have shaped an enabling environment for the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor to take off. It is producing new entrepreneurs, creating new jobs and businesses, and attracting international investment. The CPEC is a project owned and nurtured by all citizens of Pakistan. It is also fully compatible with our own Vision 2025, which invests our resources in multiple corridors of region cooperation, including energy, industry, trade, and transportation. In pursuance of this vision, we are also bridging the gap between economic growth and social development by focusing on poverty alleviation, education, health, and gender mainstreaming. We will tap the full potential of our youth, who constitute more than 60% of our population. Before I conclude, I must emphasize that OBOR has gained wide traction. It negates the logic of polarization and rejects the encirclement of any country. It is about connectivity. It is about emancipation. It moves us out of silos into shared peace space. The fact is that now OBOR belongs to all of us, those who are participating in it and those who are not as yet. OBOR has truly become a global commons let us sustain it with full vigor and robust political will. Let OBA become a metaphor for a new, mature, resilient, and cooperative world. We all must keep alive the spirit of one belt, one road. With this, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all.